Welcome back to Tesh Kid FX for another Epcoin price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Epcoin chart, which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart. We have also managed to break above a key area of resistance at around the $4.203 mark. And after managing to break above that key area of resistance, whatever we expect next is a retest of that key area of resistance. And once the retest is in and a success, then we can continue gearing up to our next key area of resistance at around the $6 mark. And before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the Apecoin chart, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening over here and also give you whatever I had been expecting in my previous videos where Apecoin was obeying the EDUTF structures. And after seeing our lower low at around the $2.5 seven six dollar mark we started that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that with one then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of that with two another impulse to the upper side in the formation of that with three giving us a pick at around the six point four two dollar mark and after seeing our high in the formation of that with three i was expecting a corrective structure in the formation of these with four and in the formation of that with four i said to you that there are key areas that we need to continue holding above for this editor structure to still be valid and you can see in the formation of that wave 4, the wave 4 was able to retrace into the wave 1 territory which I have marked here on the charts using this dotted line which is over here and having managed to get into the wave 1 territory this additive structure that I had here on the charts initially got invalidated and at the time of this recording I have an alternative scenario of what we have here on the charts where we can term this whole structure as an ABC corrective structure where we can term this as the wave A giving us a peak at around the the 6.42 dollar mark and whatever we had been seeing in the breakdown was a corrective structure in the formation of that with B which has also managed to get into the minimum retracement area and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of that with C and getting to see whether the second wave that is the wave B has done the minimum that we expect a wave B to the lower side to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of that wave A to the high of that wave A that gives me a minimum retestment area in the formation of that with B between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 as a maximum, which is a target area that lies between the $4.4964 mark and the $3.4162 mark, which is a target area that we have almost fully maximized in a move that has now given us a low at around the $3.6534 mark. And there are chances that we have now bottomed out in the formation of that with B. And whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation formation of that with C and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that with C using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the wave A to the high of that with A then dragging the fibs to the high to the low of that with B that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that with C at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $9.7547 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that with C to the upper side to do and because I have said that with C is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that with C where I'll be expecting to see a five wave structure in formation having the wave five giving us the high for that we've seen and also fully maximizing our target areas and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment could be the start of that five wave structure to the upper side though at the moment we don't have much of an edge wave structure over here but soon i'll be expecting to see a five wave structure start to play out having the wave five giving us the high for that we've seen and also fully maximizing our target areas but for now, you need to continue watching our key area of support at around the $4.2 mark, which was initially acting as resistance, but we have now managed to break above it, and we are trying to get a retest of that key area of support. And once the retest is in and a success, then there are chances that Apecoin will have the support that we need for us to continue gearing up to our next key area of resistance at around the $6 mark. So that is what I have here on the short-term scenarios. And also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 53 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that we've seen. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that we've seen. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.